Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to join us for the Oliver Motors Walk Your Own video of a 2015 Ram Halfton Sport Crew Cab Four Wheel Drive. Hi, I'm Dell with Oliver Motors, and I'm going to be showing you some of the great features that this beautiful yet aggressive and sporty half ton Ram have to offer. The 2015 Ram half ton is a half ton favorite in the class. Both fuel economy and ride comfort remain to the strengths once again. Competition in this half ton class is fierce, yet, the 2015 Ram Halfton remains one of the favorites. Ram focused on fuel economy with an 8-speed automatic transmission. They also had that Hemi motor that has a dual displacement drops down to four cylinders. On top of that, they had some great aerodynamic tricks. And don't forget the comfort either. Ram put together a beautiful ride and uh, a nice appointed interior. That said... Some of the other great features about Ram is its sportiness. It just gives you a tough look. As we walk around this beautiful vehicle, I love the, the um, scallops there in the hood. That tough look that the Ram does have. Some other great features like the alley wheels. This particular one does have the hard mud flaps. Has a blinker in the side mirror. And of course, the step bars. The Hemi 5.7 motor powering this beautiful 2015 Ram. As you open that door, take a look at some of the great features that they have inside. Your power mirrors, your power windows, your power locks. Everything right there at the driver's fingertips. Driver's side power seat, black leather interior, nice big comfortable seats that once you sit inside of it, just kind of come all around you and make you just feel like you're in the cockpit of a vehicle. Off on the left hand side of the dash, your headlamp controls. As we take a look at the left-hand side of the steering wheel, your radio and Uconnect controls. On the right-hand side is going to be your cruise control, and the, the top two buttons, the gear up and the gear down, that's to actually shift the vehicle through the gears once you take it into the, the sport modes. On the left-hand toggle switch and on the left-hand side of the steering wheel is going to be your blinkers and your brights, also your windshield wipers. A nice bright LED display can be seen on that dash. On the right-hand side, the push-button start, the nice big screen, and the nice big bright screen at that. Drop that thing into reverse. Look at the size of that backup camera. AM, FM, XM radio. As you can see, it does have nav. This also is equipped with not only front heated seats, but also a heated steering wheel. Dropping down below that, if you don't want to use a, the touch screen, you have your manual climate controls. Down below that, you can turn on and off the heated seats, heated steering wheel, and you also did see uh, the brake control off the left-hand side. Not one, but two glove boxes in front of the passenger's compartment. A ton of storage. A nice big area in the front there. Underneath the armrest, the top folds up. You did see your USB connects right there. You can also open it up again, and you have a deeper storage compartment underneath that in the center armrest. Again, the two cup holders, a little storage compartment up front, the bigger storage compartment back towards the back. Um, as we get out and take a look at the back, we're going to flip up, take a look at the ceiling so you can see the nice big sunroof that does go across the front seat driver and passenger compartments. Opening up that back door. I like how that back door opens up really nice and wide, giving you easy access into that back. Also very impressed with the amount of room. And as far as storage, on both sides, there's a little extra storage is into the floor. But just look at the amount of room between the front of the back seat and the back of the front seat to give you leg room for a total of five adults in this vehicle. That center armrest does fold down for an armrest and cup holders. The seats fold up. A little tray will fold out, giving you a nice level plateau right there in case you need to store more things in the back other than just passengers. Dropping that back down. That back seat, that back window does have the, uh, the power slider. We're going to walk around to the front. We're going to pop open the hood and take a look underneath at this 5.7 Hemi liter motor. Uh, everything that you need to check or fill is easily accessible right up on top. The thing I like about the Mopar product is they do put most of that colored in yellow. 
safety features like crumple points, drop away motor mounts, uh, along with the side impact beams and, of course, driver passenger and side airbags throughout this entire vehicle. If you'd like to see more pictures, get more information, please hop online to olivermotors.com or join us at our location in Sun Prairie.